What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Good Groceries with Tiffany. If you're new, welcome. Hey. So I've got somebody in the kitchen with me, my little sous chef, my son. Say hi to the people. Hi. What's your name? Dorian. Dorian, yes. He's, he's grown a lot since the last time he's been in the video with me. You ready to show the people what we're making today? Yes. This is my son's favorite thing when it's cold. What are we making? Hot chocolate. Homemade hot chocolate. Some people have approached me and asked me like, what would be a good thing to take to a friend's giving? And they don't like to cook, but they don't necessarily want to take something that is store-bought. I said, take a beverage, warm apple cider or hot chocolate. So I'm going to be making both for you today. So here's our grocery list. Here we got it. Cocoa powder, vanilla extract, salt, brown sugar. This is a mixture of heavy cream and milk and water. And it's really easy to assemble and put together. You ready to get going? Yes. Let's get going. All right, so first, let's take our lid off of our coho. And what I have here is two cups of milk, one cup of heavy whipping cream. We're gonna pour that into our pot. Okay, set that aside, right there. Two cups of water. All right, you wanna measure out the cocoa? So we have a third a cup of cocoa powder. And you use whatever kind of cocoa powder you want. You, yeah, that's good. There you go. Put that on in there. There you go. You wanna put that in here? This is three quarters of a cup of Lightly packed dark brown sugar. You wanna add that in? Good job. And go ahead and give that a good whisk. Kinda of mix it up. Now the cocoa powder is going to kinda of sit on top because the ingredients are cold, so don't worry about that. It'll all come together when you simmer it. All right, now we wanna put two teaspoons of salt. This is a half teaspoon measure, so just put two of those. You absolutely need the salt. It balances out the flavor. And there, that's good. And then put a splash of vanilla in there. Go. A little more, a little more, a little more. Yes, that's gonna be good. All right, give it a little whisk. Now we're gonna go over to the stove and simmer it. You wanna place your pan on a medium low flame and you wanna stir it initially to just kinda get some more of that cocoa powder dissolved into the warm milk mixture. You don't wanna walk away from your pot at this time because milk will boil quickly on you and it'll be a disaster. So you see here, the chocolate has started to dissolve and it's you know mixing into the milk nicely. Just give it a little stir about every 30 seconds. Here, the chocolate has completely dissolved into the milk. And look at that, oh, that looks so good. Just give it a quick, another little stir. Let it go for a little bit more. And you can see here where it's just starting to bubble. It's just at a, at a nice rolling simmer. You do not want it to boil or the chocolate will burn. All right. We have our hot chocolate mixture. You saw we only brought it just to a boil. You don't want it to boil because you will burn the chocolate and it will be bitter, so don't do that. And we're going to pour it in a glass measuring cup. We both have our favorite mug. Mine says, let all that you do be done in love. This is my favorite mug. So I'm gonna have me some in mine. Ooh, got a little spinach. And this is his favorite mug. Don't know why. But it's what he likes to have his in. A nice tall glass of hot chocolate. Because it's your favorite. All right, I'm gonna get some marshmallows in there. Top it with some marshmallows. Ooh, get some marshmallows, boy. I think that's enough for me. It's hot though, we're in a room. Got some spillage. Mm. I'm going for a taste. Are you you're excited? <laughs> mm. Mm. That's good. 
it's real good. It's so rich and creamy and it's smooth. And it's just the right amount of chocolate. I've tried it with more chocolate and it just, it's just too, it's like overwhelming, it's not good. So a third a cup of chocolate with this exact recipe is perfect. Mmm. That's yummers. Mm. All right, hope you make this, it's really easy. Oh, I wanted to show you really quickly. If you wanna take it with you somewhere, pour your ingredients into your, you know, your large uh, glass measuring cup, and then you get your glass carafe or pitcher and get a funnel, because that makes it safer and easier to do. And you wanna pour it in there. And of course yours, you would, you would have more, but you fill it all the way up to the top. And um, once it cools, so you can just loosely put the lid on just to cover it. And then once it cools completely, then you wanna put your lid all the way down, put it in the refrigerator. And then when you're ready to go, you just take it out and then you have all of your toppings with you. And you can put all your toppings into little, you know, little containers, but you just make it cute. You can have peppermint, you can have chocolate chips, whatever type of toppings that you want. And you can set up a cocoa bar at your Friendsgiving, or you can do it Thanksgiving or just any night. You can do it while you're decorating stockings. That's one of the things we like to do, huh? We make this fresh hot chocolate while we are decorating our house for Christmas. So it's it's endless. The, the, the possibilities are for when you want to make it. The most important thing is make it, all right? All right, we're gonna clear the decks and we're going to be making our hot apple cider next. Okay, so we're back and we are going to now put our very easy, very simple apple cider together. This is a family favorite. Uh, really, people always ask me to bring it during the holidays. It's really simple and you can also transport it for a friend's giving. I have Honeycrisp 100% apple juice and it's uh, pure pressed. Just get you something that is pressed like this. You don't want that clear apple juice. So this is a, how many ounces is that? 64, so two quarts, two quarts. We'll just pour that in your crock pot. And this is something that you can literally put on. It takes two hours to mold together and all the flavors to come together. I have some ginger here. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of ginger. That's ground ginger. Have some whole cloves. And you're gonna put about, about five in there. So that's one, two, three, four, five. One more forget measure. All right. And then we have one whole orange that I cut into sections and you just drop that in there. No need to peel, zest, do any of that. Two cinnamon sticks, okay? And fourth a cup of brown sugar. Let me grab a spoon real quick. Kind of stir all of your ingredients up together. set to high. See? I'm gonna let that go for two hours and we'll be back. All right, we are back. It's been about two hours, just a little shy of two hours. This really can go three or even four hours. And don't be afraid to add more of the ingredients. If you wanted to have more of a spicier taste, then you can even put some ground cinnamon and ground nutmeg in there. But really the sky's the limit as far as the flavorings that you can put in there. And then you can, if you want to, if that's the kind of party you're going to, put a little nip, put a little, little bourbon or something in there, a little, little wild turkey 101. All right, let's taste. Mm. That's so warm and cozy. You have to make this. 
Now, if you want to transport it somewhere, take it to a party or a shindig or Thanksgiving day, what have you, let it completely cool. Save your apple juice jug. Take a funnel, pour it back in here, and then take that with you. And then when you get to where you're going, all you have to do is just heat it up. Um, unless you're going to a place that's a little more casual and you can put all of this together where you're going. Whatever works for you. Thank you all for tuning in. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you know when new shows are coming. I appreciate all of you. Happy Thanksgiving. Many blessings to you. And thank you for watching Good Groceries.